Sudah hampir sebulan peningkatan serangan di Gaza terjadi. Hal ini pun menyebabkan beberapa orang berusaha keluar dari wilayah petaka itu. Hanya membawa rekaman video kehancuran dan cerita pilu yang dialami. I don't think there are enough words in the English dictionary to actually describe what every Gazan is going through right now. Inilah foto milik Amal dan Jacopo saat mereka sampai ke Rafah pada 1 November. Mereka bercerita bagaimana rasa lega yang mereka rasakan. Sebagai orang Italia, Jacopo cukup beruntung untuk masuk di daftar pertama warga asing yang diizinkan keluar. Sementara itu, istrinya Amal yang warga Palestina juga beruntung bisa diikut sertakan. For two days we were completely blacked out. You can just think of the worst and you keep on telling we're gonna be next. That's what you keep on telling yourself. It's gonna be us next. The humanitarian situation is catastrophic. We can't find water, food, bread. When people go to bakeries, they freaking die because they have bombed almost all of the bakeries in Gaza. What difference would a humanitarian pause make? Like it's not important to reach a humanitarian truce, but uh, an actual ceasefire, a prolonged one, huh? with strong conditions. A Gazan would say they are giving us some painkillers and then they're gonna continue wiping us out. But we will manage to get some water and uh, some food and then they can just kill us. So, Tell me about the feeling of people inside about that, that sense of what's happening to them. I, like, I think they feel alone, abandoned. So that's the issue, like no one is talking about like children who died or like women who are delivering like in very poor hygienic situations. This is so inhuman. And then they come in the news and they tell you Israel has to has the right to defend itself. Come on, what are we talking about? Come on. They are wiping us out. We have entire families killed. I'm just wondering what the world is waiting to see so they can actually start doing an action. Tak terlihat harapan yang besar terhadap Gaza. Amal dan Jacobo membuat pilihan tersulit. Mereka memilih meninggalkan Gaza yang terus dibombardir. It was leaving a difficult decision. Yeah, it was definitely a difficult decision like as humanitarian like our role is to say like uh, together with the, like with the population like people in need. So it was um, it was so difficult to take this decision. Like we couldn't operate anymore. This situation was wasn't safe anymore for us. So many people are talking about this uh, this coming out as a victory for us, but it's not a victory. Like we are, like it's a it's a loss for everyone. To be honest, since yesterday, I was already regretting going out because I was the entire day I was unable to reach my family. So I couldn't even tell them that I made it safely and I'm okay. And I know that Yani, my mom, she actually begged me to go out. For me, I wouldn't have done it. And I still feel I shouldn't have gone out. You know, the survival guilt. Amal dan Jacopo pun tidak bisa membayangkan masa depan. Meskipun mereka sudah keluar dari Gaza dan menuju Italia, gambaran derita dan pilu di hati mereka tetap ingin kembali ke Gaza. Melisabel, CNN Cairo.